<laughs> okay, hi. I tried to look into your plan file and your uh, layout file, and what I found wrong was you send this elevation as a pixelated image, and that's not going to work. You can't change the line weight on this because it's an image. It's like a two-dimensional snapshot of, the, of your plan file, <clears throat> and uh, that you can't increase or decrease the line weight of. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because it's no good. And then we'll go back to uh, your plan. And uh, you've got this camera kind of truncating the uh, edge of the uh, terrain plane. So I'm going to move it outside the edge. I think that makes a cleaner looking uh, elevation. We'll open that. I double clicked on it. Okay, that, see that covers up the edge of the... Uh, and also, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So it covers up the foundation all, all together. That's the way I do my uh, my elevations. Now, when you send it to layout, and there's a lot of benefits from sending it to layout, but not in this uh, render format. We'll go over here to uh, render techniques and change it to uh, vector view. And vector view is what you want to work with. Now, let me show you some of the benefits. I'm going to add some text here. And uh, let's see. Typing is not my forte. What's, oh, <laughs> it's supposed to be an F. Okay, then we'll take this and we'll put it over here. You can add annotations. You can add uh, dimensions. Let's see, we'll measure from here from the 4, 0. So that shows the ceiling height. And then we can add a dimension up to the roof. Well, maybe not. There we go. Finally got that to go. So you can add dimensions, you can add text uh, to make uh, this more communicative. And now I'm going to send this <clears throat> to layout, this vector view. It's a vector view camera. Not, it's the same view of the same model, but it's a different uh, camera format. And we'll send it as plot lines. And I don't want particularly color fill in it, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. And... Uh, <clears throat> I don't remember what size the layout is, but uh, let's send this at eight eighth inch scale. That way I'll be sure it'll fit. Okay, there it is. Now we'll get the edge. You can alter the edges to make this a little cleaner looking view. Now let me zoom in on this. See, if I want to add more later, I decided I don't like these uh, arrow styles. I can just double click on this image and make edits to it. If you send it as an image, you can't do that. So we'll go to arrow. We'll change the arrow to something else. And go here, but here to arrow and change that arrow. We'll change this to this kind. Now, I think that's a little bit. Oh, and also I'm going to get rid of the fractions or reduce them. We'll go over here to, whoops, you can, I guess you can't do that in Pro. Never mind. Now I can just close this, and that program will ask me if I want to uh, update it, and I'll say yes. And then those new changes that I just made, you see updated. Now let's look at the line style. <clears throat> now this icon over here, show line white. You can't see any changes unless you uh, have that active. And you can see the edge lines are darker than the pattern lines. I don't remember, I don't remember if a pro can do this or not, but I'm going to open the image and go to line style. And uh, see there's a dialogue for the layout, for this view on, on the layout. And... Uh, Let's uncheck the weight there, and we'll just set it to 20 to 30. And 
And with the show line light tool on, you can visually see. Let me hit the uh, space bar. Yeah. Well, I think all that got darker that that time was just uh, the edge lines got darker. Let's go back over here and we'll open uh, display options to the live view. And you see here's the line weights. And if I just want to grossly change them all, uh, the, see there's nothing specific here that says pattern pattern lines or uh, edge lines. But I'm just going to take all of these and uh, click there, hit the shift key, and uh, well, let's hold down again. Select all of them, and we'll change the line weights to uh, 60. So I was assuming that you knew some of this. Now show line weights on, and we can you can't really tell the difference until you zoom in. And uh, now I'm going to update that to layout again, and see it's now it's quite a bit darker. And that's probably too dark. But see, I made I made the uh, line weights heavier, so they're darker now, and that's what I was talking about. But I, it never. Uh, dawned on me that you would send an elevation view uh, to layout as a pixel image because you can't do anything with that. You can't edit it. You can't add things, data to it, and you can't change the line weight. But this one you can. I'm going to go back and open. Uh, this is back to the uh, main view. I'm going to open it, and uh, again, I'm going to select all the layers. Now, this is kind of a you can do this layer by layer, but I'm just demonstrating. We'll change that to uh, 30. And see the edge, that made the edge lines half as uh, dark. Now I'm going to close this and let it update to layout. But see with a, a vector view image, ooh, well, that's a little bit too dark, I think. Well, that's less dark than it was. I'm going to, again, I'm going to open this dialog for this image on the layout page. and go to line style. We'll just take this down to uh, 25. In Chief Premier, you can actually alter the pattern lines separately from the edge lines, but in, in, in Pro, you can't do that. You just can darken them all or lighten, lighten them all. That didn't make a big change. But I just wanted to point out that there is something that you can do, but not with an image. An image is a two-dimensional pixelated photograph of a model and can't be edited or uh, you can't affect the uh, line weights. Okay? Thank you. And this is true just for a Home Designer Pro. It doesn't work in... in uh, Sweet, uh, essentials, architectural, etc. It just works. This this functionality is just in in uh, Pro, and it's not near the functionality that's available in Chief Architect Premier. Thank you.